Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the butterfly playing cards from Andre Sanika. All right, so what are the butterfly cards? Well, right now, uh, currently, they are a Indiegogo crowdfunding project. Uh, you can go out to Indiegogo right now and search for butterfly playing cards and you will see Andre's campaign. And these cards were designed by a friend of Andre's, a gentleman uh, who is a designer and magician uh, named Stefan Eriksson. This right here, this is a prototype. Uh, these were printed from Cardamundi and uh, the actual deck will later be printed by Cardamundi as well. And these come from their Belgium printing plant. And so the tuck case is really simple in design. Uh, it simply has a black uh, icon of a butterfly there in the center, and the entire deck is wrapped in white with a blue and red band there at the bottom. The bottom has some ad copy about butterfly playing cards, and the top just simply says butterfly playing cards. The only ornamentation there is on the tuck flap right here, which is a little bit of a hint of the back design of the cards, and that's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. In the past, I can't say I've ever been super impressed uh, with Cardamundi cardstock, but these cards feel fantastic. Uh, these cards are supple and soft. They're buttery, they're easy to shuffle. Um, I asked uh, Andre if the actual cards, when they're printed, will feel and handle like this, and he assures me that the stock itself will be a little thicker, but they'll still have that soft, buttery feel. So I am really looking forward to that. Back design has a butterfly, both on the top and bottom in bold. And then all around it, you have a bunch of flora and fauna. Um, you can see that it is a casino card. It is printed all the way to the edge with a full bleed. And that helps uh, with a lot of uh, what this deck has to offer. If you have a really sharp eye, you can see that this is a one way back design. And there are a couple of other hidden gems in there as well. Uh, there is a unique marking system hidden in the back design of the butterfly playing cards. Uh, they're actually going to contain two different marking systems, and you can use those two different systems separately. But uh, together, combined, uh, they will really make you a miracle card worker if magic is what you are interested in. Uh, so, like, just think about this. Well, imagine that you could perform uh, tricks that used to only be possible by memorizing a deck, but now you can do it with a shuffled deck of cards. The butterfly cards enable you to see the position of any spectator's card in a shuffled deck. I mean, think about what that means. That means you could shuffle the cards yourself, have a card selected, have the card returned, hand the deck to the spectator, they could shuffle it, and when they give it back to you, you could immediately locate it and then bring it to the top or bottom. That in itself is amazing. And that's not, even, that's not even combined with the marking system. That's just a locator, okay? So you're getting a locator and you're getting the marking system. These cards were designed with two main goals in mind. One, they had to be complex and irregular enough to disguise any of the markings so that laymen or magicians couldn't find them. And secondly, they had to be pretty enough to justify their use over a, a common deck of cards that you might already have. With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of things. One of them is an advertisement card that explains how to use the marking system, but I won't show it to you. <laughs> and on the other side, there's a sample of what this deck would look like in red, which is actually one of the Indiegogo uh, stretch goals. With my prototype deck, I got two jokers that were completely identical. It's the black butterfly logo uh, with the word joker up in the corners. And then I was also given a third joker, which is more of the pattern uh, butterfly there in the center. Your ace of spades is simple, but yet ornate. The spade pip is made up of all of the back design pattern, and it does say butterfly playing cards there at the bottom. And then if you fan through the quartz pips and indice cards, 
you'll see that they are all completely standard and instantly recognizable for gameplay and magic. All right, so that is the Butterfly playing cards currently on Indiegogo. Uh, if this looks like it would be interesting to you, uh, if you're a flourisher, I think the uh, full bleed makes for great fans and really cool uh, flourishing tricks. I think if you're a magician, you're gonna want this because just the marking system and the locator system alone, uh, combined with the one-way back design, I think makes this a killer deck for magic. This is only going to take your magic up a notch. Uh, any current magic tricks that you're doing, this deck is going to improve it times a hundred. So definitely head on down to Indiegogo, check out the Butterfly Playing Cards campaign from Andre Seneca and back it, support it, give him your love, buy a brick. I love this deck. I think it's great. Uh, I think it's a great campaign. Great deck of cards. Like I said, it feels great. Oh my gosh, the, the stock on this feels great. Can't wait to see what the finished project looks like. All right, and a huge thank you to Andre Sneka for allowing me to have this deck so that I can do the review for you. As always, I recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.